Hi, Robins. I have a book for you. It's called Cecil's Garden. Cecil opened his eyes and jumped out of bed. It was the day he was going to help Jake and Posey plant the vegetable garden. He stuck his nose outside and took a deep breath. Perfect, he said. I think he's excited to do some planting. Jake carried the hoe and the shovel. Posey brought the watering can. You get the seed, Cecil, Posey said, and he did. Jake turned over the soil and Posey dug the rows. So they're going to plant the seeds. Cecil looked at the beautiful seed packages. We have carrots and peas, beans, lettuce, Brussels sprouts, and squash, he said, and his mouth began to water. That's six kinds of seeds, said Jake, and the garden is only big enough for five. Nobody likes Brussels sprouts, said Posey. We don't have to plant those. Well, I like Brussels sprouts, Jake said. We can leave out the squash. But I love squash, said Cecil. I know, said Posey. Let's plant two vegetables in one row. How about carrots and peas? That sounds good, Posey shook her head. I think it should be lettuce and beans. They can't seem to agree, can they, Robins? They argued until the sun was high in the sky and it was too hot to plant. Rosie picked up the watering can, Jake took the hoe and the shovel, and they all went back to the house. Cecil was still holding the seeds because they hadn't planted anything. He was very disappointed. When he was feeling better, Cecil decided to take a walk. A bird was singing, and Cecil started to sing too. I think I'm going to go visit Mouse, he said to himself, and he started down the path. I think he's feeling a little better now. He went around a curve and squeezed through some tangled bushes and was very surprised to find himself standing in front of a saucepan. Mouse and some of his friends were in it. The pan was full of bath toys. And the mice were making a terrible racket. Cecil covered his ears. Hello, Mouse, he shouted. What are you doing? We're taking a bath, Mouse yelled. What does it look like? But you don't have any water, Cecil said. Nope, yelled Mouse. We dumped it out. Hmm, how do you take a bath without water? Cecil giggled. And Mouse climbed out of the pan. You might think it's funny, Mouse said, but it isn't. We try to take a bath every single Saturday. And every Saturday, it's always the same. We fill the pan with the water, and then we get our toys. But after we put the toys in, there's never any room left for us. And since we can never agree on which toys to take out, we always have to take out the water. And then we all fit, said one of the other mice. But we don't get very clean. That's right. You need water to take a bath. Oh, dear, cried Cecil, trying not to laugh. Maybe next Saturday will be better. I doubt it, said Mouse. And Cecil helped him get back into the pan. Perhaps this isn't the best time for a visit, said Cecil. I'll come back on a different day, and I'll go to the mole's house now. Hmm, he's going to do another visit. When Cecil got to the mole's house, he knocked on the door. There wasn't any answer, so he opened the door a crack, and he peeked in. It was dark inside, and the mole family were still in their pajamas. Angus was standing in front of the clock, and he was peering at it intently. It means he's looking very closely at the clock. Moles don't have very good eyesight. Hello, Angus, Cecil said in a loudish whisper. Why are you still in pajamas on such a nice morning? Angus jumped because he hadn't seen Cecil. Is it morning, Angus asked. Yes, said Cecil. Well, no, it's really almost lunchtime. Yes, said Cecil. Well, no, he corrected himself. It is lunchtime. I was sure that it was time to get up, Angus said, but it's too dark in here to see the clock. Hmm. Violet giggled. Even if you could see the clock, Angus, she said, you don't even know how to tell time. I don't need to tell time, Angus protested. I always know in my bones when it's time to get up. Well, I always know in my bones when it's time to get back in bed, she said. 
and she so pulled the blanket up to her nose. Maybe we should eat breakfast, said Margaret, because she was very hungry. There's no point in eating breakfast if it's time for lunch, Angus said. Hmm. Cecil was getting a headache. All this quarreling seems to me to be a foolish waste of time, whatever time it is, he said. It is a waste of time, said Violet from under the covers, but we're not in a hurry, so we have plenty of time. Well, said Cecil, I'm running out of time. Today is the day Posy Jake and I are supposed to plant our vegetable garden, and I am going straight home to do it. Cecil walked as fast as he could. How beautiful How beautiful our garden will be, he thought. He's very excited to do some planting. Where have you been, asked Jake when Cecil came through the door. Visiting neighbors, Cecil answered, and he went to get the seeds in the toolbox. Where are you going now, asked Posy. To the garden, said Cecil. You bring the watering can, and Jake, you bring the shovel and the hoe. When they got to the garden, Cecil started to work on the fence. He moved two posts and added more wire so the garden would be bigger. He's making room for more seeds. There, he said when he was finished, now we have room for everything. There is nothing to quarrel about, and we don't have to waste another minute. Posey and Jake agreed that it was a very good solution. They planted seeds until the sun was setting pink and orange over the meadow. Does that look like our meadow a little bit? By the middle of the summer, the garden was full of beautiful vegetables. Cecil made a pot of savory stew and invited the moles and the mice to come for lunch. Well, Mouse wrote a note saying that they were really too dirty to come to a party, and the moles sent regrets because they just couldn't find the time. So Posey, Jake, and Cecil ate the stew all by themselves. And it was very good. What'd you think of that, Robbins? Did you like that book? What was your favorite part? Oh... You liked when he figured out how to make the garden a little bit larger so they could fit all of the vegetables? That solved the problem. No more arguing, right? Well, I hope you liked it, Robbins. Are any of you going to do a little planting this summer? I'm definitely going to do a little planting. What are the things that plants need? Let's remember. Soil. Sun and water. Good job, Robbins. All right. Hope you liked the book. See you later. I miss you, Robbins, so much. Have a good day.